today let me start with a story this is the story of a rich businessman the businessman had a retail store in the heart of the town which was doing a roaring business he earned a lot of money he wanted to earn even more money and all his life he was running after money finally he grew old he fell ill and the illness was severe and he was on the deathbed he was counting his days all the family members of the man came because they knew that this man may pass away any moment they all gathered at his place this rich businessman was lying on his bed after some time in a very feeble tone he asked where is my eldest son the relatives pointed him towards his eldest son who was sitting near his head he then asked where is my second son the relatives said your second son is sitting on your left holding your hands he then asked where is my third son the relatives said your third son is sitting on your right everybody thought that the man is about to die and he wants to see and speak to his children for one last time they took pity on him after a few seconds the old man asked where is my fourth son the relative said look he is sitting at your feet this man lying on the death bed in a feeble yet irritated tone said to his sons all of you are here who is at the store and looking after business friends what an irony a man who is on death bed is still thinking about money he ran after money all his life he earned money all his life even on the death bed he is thinking about money this is called obsession addiction so is it hakrun kulchand says when the mind is fashioned to worldly things it is addiction so addiction or attachment is a confinement it is an attachment to worldly things the worldly things can be money the worldly things can be money wealth reputation assets properties children family members or any other craving that a person may have so how to overcome this attachment so is it hakrun kulchandra says it is possible attachment is a confinement attachment is confined to one thing that the person is intensely craving for so is it hakrun kulchandra says expand your attachment he says if you are attached to a child to a child but expand that attachment be attached to other children love everybody like your child so you are not restricting or confining your attachment to one thing you are expanding it if you can treat every child like your child and love them and care for them as much as you can you will see in some time you are not only attached to your child you are not only attached to other children you are attached to every living being in this in this universe your heart is filled with love and care so the way to overcome the miseries of attachment is to expand the sphere of your attachment this is thakur says if you keep saying my desires are not going away my passions are not going away my addictions are not going away, not going away my obsessions are not going away nothing will happen according to sissi thakur he who only wails my passion and pride do not go do not go will find they never go one should become habituated to those activities and thoughts which have no scent of pride and passion then the mind forgets them says it hakur says when you feel that inside you there is a strong craving immediately forcefully engage yourself in some thought or activity which will take your mind off your passion desires addiction thakur says the way out is to remain always absorbed in higher thoughts and activities thakur says when the mind is fashioned to worldly things it is addiction when it is attached to the divine it is devotion so attaching the mind to the divine means attaching the mind to a personality in whom divine has been materialized that personality is none other than the master or guru so the way to overcome addiction 
or obsession is to attach the mind to the master or guru. Thank you very much.